As I show up to the event, organizers and volunteers are already out to gather signatures. I'll shoot an extreme wide of the volunteers and people showing up to the event. Video of the clipboards, a silhouette shot for variety. The more variety I have, the easier it will be for me to edit. Because this is a press event, I'll shoot other crews and equipment since they are part of the story. I hear a woman greeting people into the event, so I'll quickly put a microphone on her and step back. Yeah, right? Good morning, how are you? Good, you're with the media. Okay, uh, they're setting right up here and the event is in the main room. Thank you. Sound like this would make for a great opening mat. As people show up, a person walks by my camera and they fill the frame, giving me a natural wipe for my edit. This is taking place in a warehouse. With all the people showing up, I really don't have a lot of room to work with. I actually prefer situations like this because it forces me to think differently and look around for the little things that can help push a story. I notice organizers setting up banners through this monitor. After I shoot about 10 seconds of this, I quickly look around for another shot of the organizers. Basically, as I'm shooting, I'm sequencing. I find this open area where the newspaper reporters are working. There are no other TV cameras around, so I have room to walk around a bit. I decide to stick to this spot for the entire event. Video of the reporters typing. More video of the media. This is my chief photographer, Mike Perry. He's shooting a live stream for the station, so I'd be able to use his video if needed. An Inslee banner, again, for more variety. I shoot this interview from a distance so I don't lose my place. Shoots of the crowd, that's pretty good. Creative, you're creative. We try to be creative. Inslee walking the frame, greeting the crowd. More video of the audience and media. An extreme wide shot of the room from another angle. A woman raises her phone into frame. I'll play with the foreground and background to help maintain the visual theme of this event being a spectacle. Reactions from the crowd. I go off the shoulder to give this story a little more energy with movement. When you're off the shoulder, it's best to stay wide as you can for clean movements. Reaction shots of clapping. I start to walk around the backside of where the podium is, and I notice this. I'll be honest, I was nervous about my location. I wasn't sure if this is the place I can be at, so I slowly creep my way closer and closer to the podium. I knew this was going to be my closing shot. So I waited here until the event was over, and I rolled on the shot for about seven minutes. So early to bed, early to rise, work like hell and organize. This is our moment. This is our mission. Let's get this job done. Let's go get it. Thanks a lot. Once he's done with the presser, the gaggle begins. These situations are always going to be different, but try and get as close as you can. Okay. I ended up getting lucky with this one. Where do you go from here? Uh, well, I think uh, the nation's capital would be a good place. One more shot of the media, and that's it. Here's the story. Mountains, what they provide and what they symbolize. Good morning. How are you? Our key to Jay Inslee's newest adventure. It really is a good morning. We have the sun raining down on us. He's ready to take his local brand of politics. Now it is time for our nation 
to set a new priority. Into a national spotlight. So I am announcing today that I'm a candidate to become the next president of the United States. A campaign that will repeat climate, climate, climate. That is to defeat climate change. Consider mountaineering legend Jim Whitaker a fan. Unless we have to take action or we're in deep trouble. The first American to summit Mount Everest says he believes the message could help the governor ascend to the highest peak. The environment is damn important and the globe is important. It's our home and it's threatened and I've seen glaciers disappear uh, in my lifetime. Yet Inslee will have to climb over 20 other potential Democratic candidates. A morning consult poll this week shows support for Washington's governor among 5,000 registered U.S. voters at 0%. And climate change in another poll, second to last among voter priorities. You're polling at zero percent right now. What can you say about climbing that mountain? Well, I'm used to climbing mountains. I've done Rainier. I know the guy who climbed Everest first. I know that when you climb a mountain, you take the first step. And I'm taking the same step that Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter took when they were polling at one percent. They ended up pretty well. You know, it's been over four decades since anyone went out uh, carrying the Washington banner uh, in a serious presidential bid. King County Exec Dow Constantine, rumored to be eyeing the governor's mansion, cheered Inslee's move and stayed coy about any other domino. Uh, there will be lots and lots of time in the coming months to discuss uh, issues of uh, Washington state politics. We're in it, baby. All of that will depend on if Inslee can reach new national heights or if his campaign message melts like the glaciers he's trying to preserve. One thing's for sure. Let's go get him. Thanks a lot. He'll be doing it, at least for now, from a new mountaintop. Thank you.